You're listening to the Wicked Theory Podcast. We're very happy to have you back, even for a short visit. And here we go. Broadcasting to you live from a short time ago in a galaxy not that far, far away. This is the Wicked Theory Podcast. Gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the Wicked Theory Podcast. Uh, I said that already. Yeah. Oh, damn. We're going to have a, I don't know if anybody else heard that, but I know I did. Um, yeah, that Palmer, was, that went know. through my headphones. If you just heard a Windows sound effect. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so uh, we got some weird stuff going on today. Yeah, makeshift. Um, a little makeshift today. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, Wicked Theory Podcast. Uh, I said that already, right? And um, mm-hmm. uh, my name is Bill. Uh uh, that's my brother Bob. Oh, you hey. Heard you heard What's him. Up? He has got, he's got a guitar too. You heard that, right? Right, right, right. Prove it. Okay. A little more. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so quaint. And then we got Ed. It's good old reliable Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan. So now the new bit's going to be I have no Broadway idea. tunes? I have no idea. All right. Just, okay. It, it oh, I thought maybe that was a John Goodman on Broadway. Oh, no, no. It flowed right out of me. Oh, that's um, just a thing. Oh, that's yeah. just a thing. Yeah. Just the spirit. Was that was that from? Was that was that wasn't an excerpt from your film? No, because that, that sounds specific on some level. Oh no, that's that's guys and dolls. Oh, okay, yeah, that was like that had a name. Yeah. I thought you were going <coughs> to sing like the Nathan Lane song. Yeah. Oh, like there no. was an actual song. We're a couple of Sweeney's from New York. We don't know nothing about no dolls and no guys and. <laughs> we, I've heard of those things. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. And where I'm from, guys don't play with dolls. What? Guys and dolls. Yeah, we gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is it. That's it. That's all. Who's here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have crickets. I am. I don't have crickets. Out I'm now. very surprised. I am highly. It's yeah. Highly unusual. And uh, yeah, like it's weird. Uh, yeah, I think somebody might be going to see a movie, maybe instead. I, well, Dom told me he's not coming. Okay. He wasn't gonna make it. Okay, so he's so, excused. So he's excused, and that's fine. And there mm-hmm. has, but, this has to be something with traffic. Yeah. But didn't get a heads up from Jay, and. He yeah. also didn't make his little Saturday afternoon Twitter video yeah. that he see, usually puts see out. See, that right, the, the combination of the two right there tells me, and knowing Jay mm. and what he had hopefully planned for the, yesterday, right. uh, that uh, his events from yesterday are still going on today. How about that? Or maybe mm. he's sleeping off his events from yesterday. Very strange, very strange. But um, uh, I think no uh, two-hour notice, uh, I, I think maybe we should fire him. <sighs> well, we're not really yeah. paying them, so suspend them maybe without pay. Yeah, but without. <laughs> whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa! I mean, yeah. you know. well, I mean th- I well, that's like not such a big deal. You don't get paid. I mean, I, I, I will say, of all of the nights, for he, him. Yeah, this is of all the nights. Yeah, that's a very good point right there. And well, maybe he. And uh, I, I, I gotta be honest. I. Uh, Mr. S- Mr. Spaceballs ain't here for the. Yeah, I, I am feeling very weird right now. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it's almost a sense of relief, but. Very, I'm very confused and I'm worried. I'm scared right now. Okay. <laughs> I was, I mean, I was more scared walking into this room, but yeah. even now I'm like, I'm like, is he coming from the ceiling? Is he, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna sp- uh, do a, 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 a splinter cell, maybe? Something do, like uh, that. Definitely. Uh, do a ninja and like yeah. come in under a puff of smoke. <laughs> That or like ATF style, and just kick the fucking door. Yeah, in. really. That's more his way. Yeah. Just be like, I'm here, motherfuckers. <laughs> Couple of shotguns loaded with shots. Yeah. You'll know when he gets here, I guess. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we're gonna talk about it later. But there's a space movie that came out this week. Right. That I thought I thought that was the Space Balls too. Was that Space Balls too? Uh, you know, Bob's trying to get that Space Balls joke in again. Oh, there we uh, yeah, go. you know, <laughs> he's topical. He's uh, topical. Yeah, uh, yeah. But let's 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 not talk anymore about that because we're gonna do a standalone thing, right? Yeah, so yeah. the yeah. idea is that we're going to mm-hmm. do this episode. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll try and do maybe bang out a little bit of an after show, yeah. something yeah. short, and then uh, we'll just kind well, of... Well, it's going to be the Disney after show, right? I don't know what that means. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's a Disney movie we're talking about, right? Well, that's going to be after the after show. 
Oh, <laughs> see, that's right. what, I, that's what oh, I was getting okay. to. That's what I, I was see. getting I'm to sorry. before you jumped in. I'm you know sorry. I mean? I'm John, sorry. I did see that. I, 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 I gave you two looks already. You've been yeah. Mr. Johnny jumping see, since the, we started uh, today. Yeah, see, Bill, this, this is why you got to post it on the wall. I got to put, put a sign. Well, Jay's not here. I got to jump in. Well... Well, he's not here. Why should anything change, really? Because usually the start of every episode is me being like, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking... <laughs> it's, fu it's eight minutes, eight to 12. I, I check it every week on the listen back. It's like eight to 12 minutes of just fucking yeah. hurricane. Just a hurricane of just jumping on top of each other for five, fucking 10 minutes. And then everybody slows down. Like, as soon as like, I get past the opening, yeah. like uh, official business stuff, everybody's like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. it's a little more even. Well, it's just, yeah. like, that's like the window for fucking around, and then it's, it's time to get serious. I feel like, well, like mm -hmm. it's like an energy you rush all of a sudden everyone's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no well, I, have, I think it's just because that's the window now now i guess i guess, I guess yeah now, i have no experience like uh with this but uh, you you guys may be able to tell me mm. um penises or listen in vaginas no no yes. but oh, is, oh. is this what it's like when you take coke <laughs> It just depends on the person, but he, he, he just assumes that we would know about this. Well, I, well, from I know, experience, but I know. from hanging out with friends, I'll tell you yeah. that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. And from hanging out with friends, never needed to do the coke. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Suddenly, I knew every reason to not bother. I wouldn't be enjoying the show mm -hmm. as much half the time there you go. if I was coked up, watching them be mm -hmm. coked up. Yeah. But if you're yeah, sober... Or half sober, mm -hmm. maybe just drunk, yeah. watching them all coked up. It's funny as fuck. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I've only seen it in movies. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, but after it's like a year and a half, two years, it gets real annoying. It's like, dude, all right. Yeah, well, that's because you're <laughs> slowing down and mellowing out, and they're getting all sped up. Woo! Boy, four o'clock in the morning, they're still going. Like, hey, wait, so what do you want to do now? You want to paint a house? Huh? Hey, what do I do? What do you want to do? You want to take a ditch? ditch? You want to take a ditch? Let's go, go back go. to my house. We'll fucking drink some beers back at my house. And it's like, dude, the ball closed. Life is about to start up again for the for the day. Like, you know what I mean? The sun's yeah. coming around. Dude, any the minute. roosters are going to get up and start letting <laughs> everybody know, I mean? know the world's starting. And you're like three o'clock in the morning looking for a guy you can call yeah. who's going to be up right now because yeah. you need another bag. And that's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, wait, yeah. wait now. Rashawn the Claire will show up. There you go, somebody. Meanwhile, anyone up at that time that you can get in touch with is going to be just like you to be. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They're making the rounds also <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning. Um, mm. So that's your drug lesson for this week. Mm. Um, a little bit of the further education of Edward O'Hare. Oh, that's, an on, that's an yeah. ongoing segment. Okay. We, I, I remembered that. Uh, well, not remembered, yeah, but I listened back to an uh, after show. Was it backlogged on the after show? Oh, yeah. What, what came up this time? Well, I'm just saying that's the title that we pulled out. Oh, okay. Was the further <laughs> education of Edward O'Hare. Like, that's the name of the segment. And so until, like, we actually, like, I mean to kind of, like, put some something together and spring it on you. Yeah. Fair warning, um, but no more warning than that. Mm. It'll just be a thing. But um, I thought we could just try to constantly throw the brand out there every now and then. Ah, it's like, oh, so you guys tell me about this. Is this uh, mm -hmm. what's the difference between acid and mescaline? Like, you know, and I'm like, yeah, about about five bucks, uh, depending. Yeah. No, but um, all right. So let's do official <laughs> business. Get this over with. This is episode 136. If you're keeping track, if wow. you like numbers, but you know, no math, no politics, no sports. Um, but we are gonna do some nerd news. Maybe there's an email on there. Maybe something mm. from our pal Wesley. The chat room is hot. It's live. You could be there right now on Mixler.com slash Wicked Dash Theory. Saturday yep. night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's, what, that's where we're at. If you're not listening live, why not come by Saturdays? Hang out with us. You know what? I'm, right, I'm there right now. Oh, Bob, I'll try to get them to come, not leave. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're going to get to all that stuff. People also, you know, you can go check us out on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page over there. And there's a group, a little Facebook group we're, we're trying to do something with. We mm -hmm. yeah, so the old uh, Facebook activity. So uh, come check us out over there. Get active. Get all up in it. And uh, DC TV report. Yes. Yeah. Remind no. me after the show to put that together because... I totally fucking forgot. <laughs> Shit. It's, go, it's going up, uh, if you're listening to us live, uh, it's going up at midnight tonight. Midnight on Saturday. Uh, yep. And uh, if, you, if you're listening to us after this drops, we went up Sunday. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Logic would dictate. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That follows. So uh, you can find that yeah. show just like you can find this show. Mm -hmm. iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music. Or yeah. just do a search on your I, mm -hmm. uh, your podcast thing of source. Yeah. Choice and uh, this episode was fun. It was the Lucifer mid-season finale because ev okay. everything else had gone off the week before. A little spotlight for Lucifer, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All so, right. So it was a deep dive, and we had a lot of news. And uh, uh, Sarah found a news story about Mark Guggenheim talking about Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, and that took about 10 minutes of me 
gogging over those characters. Oh my god, you guys, you, oh. sh- you should have put some background music behind that, oh. like some like sappy, like you know. You you know what's funny? It's like, like a young girl writing a letter kind of music. I don't know what that would be, but that's <laughs> what would something soft well, and piano like. I, I always get worried because I just go, I just go, and Sarah doesn't stop me, and oh. I'm like, no. And I, I <laughs> no, you must stop the train. <laughs> this isn't gonna stop. Like, no, is this entertaining or is this just me spouting <laughs> continuity? I'm a monster. You yeah. have to stop me. That and also describing the question, I realize I don't know that much about the question. Um, well, that's funny. Mm-hmm. But I guess if you're gonna go nerd, mm-hmm. nerdcore yeah. anywhere, it's gonna be over there, right? This is true. All right, so uh, nerdcore. Check out nerd <laughs> not to be confused with like nerdcore rap, mm. although. If anybody could do that as well, <laughs> it's you. Because that's a thing. You could look that up. Nerdcore. Uh, um, I think that would be video game music done with musicians and, and hip hop. Bro, you <laughs> are you not go. far, Bob. It's actually there's a lot of eight bit stuff. There's a lot of eight. I know there's eight bit bands out there. They, they do all yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So nerd, but nerdcore really just you know it's nerd related rap stuff. So um, anyway, uh, yeah. So stick around if you're listening live. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of after show, but the plan is. Uh, you know, to kind of uh, not do the um, um, Star Wars thing live on the air tonight. We were going to kind of take it off off the uh, wire just because mm-hmm. it was like mm-hmm. a thing where like <clears throat> didn't know where we were going to start, where we were going to finish, and right. rather than get, have it get interrupted and have to jam up and stop, that right. we were just going to do it straight through uh, so full spoiler y- thing. So. so what are you saying? We're going to do uh, the regular show? Yep. And then we're going to do a shorter version mm. of the yeah, after, uh, show. after show. Yeah, a little something, yeah. something. And then we're going to do... And then we're going to do... We're going to sign off for the evening. And uh-huh. then on Monday, you know, with the regular episode, you can... Uh, people, if they want to, they can go listen to the spoiler. Yeah. Star right. Wars review. We're just going to do it. We're going to take it... Uh, so we're going to go off, off air. Off, off the grid. Off the grid. Mm. All right. So the like we'll, we'll be recording that later on after separately. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm. With Jesse Ventura. <laughs> He's off the grid. I don't know if you know that. Oh, really? He's yeah, from Minnesota. He's from Minnesota. Mm. You know, when I was a Navy SEAL. You know, Minnesota is our Canada. One time I was a Navy <laughs> SEAL, and I wrestled a guy in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> and I won. Oh, yeah? That guy, Vince McMahon. Oh. I made him eat an M60 for breakfast. <laughs> That's how I won the, c- the governorship of Minnesota was in a hog wrestling. Minnesota. Fucking son of a bitch. Mr. Ventura. <laughs> no, forget it, man. Just forget it. Just forget it. Just forget it. I'm sorry. All right. No, it's not you. <laughs> it's <laughs> not me? you. It's, it's <laughs> fucking the echo over here. It throws me <laughs> off every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> is it, is it, you know, Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. You know, I didn't realize you were going for being in the zone on that one. <laughs> it's you always, know, it's you always, know. it's been fucking one hundred and so. fucking thirty six episodes. You know, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> he actually vacations. No, I didn't think it was. A- hey, is anybody still? All alive? right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was uh, meant to be a bit bit on the. Uh, I, well, I, I was riffing. I was riffing. I was trying to go so somewhere. I was just trying to riff with you. My bad. Well, yeah, know. it's funny. I was trying to jump in, and the only thing I could think of is, oh, he likes to vacation at the Real Hotel California. <laughs> I apologize for everything. I apologize for my behavior. I apologize for the technical difficulties. And I apologize for breathing oxygen this morning. I probably should have stopped earlier. Mm. Um, so this show sucks. Okay, so um, I don't know. I must have jacked up my volume now. I'm like crazy loud in my own ears. Um, or, or, or maybe I've got you too, too No, no, no. I think, I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Okay. I think it's just my headphones are up a little high. Okay, so uh, hey. Now that that's out of the way, mm-hmm. who's in the chat room? Uh, we got Meow God. We Is got anybody still listening to this fucking train wreck? <laughs> we got we got Wesley and Meow God. Hey, yeah. I'll wow. take those. That those are good people. Yeah, we love those two. Mm-hmm. Meow God once again saw Star Wars before everybody else. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say that as far as the train wrecks go, mm. this is just a different variety of train wreck than usual. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> it's a three man. Yeah, it's a three man. So. It's a three, not a five. So most of the wreckage is going on me th- th- today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <You> know, <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Bob right now is like, where are those other guys? Yeah, There's a lot of spotlight on me right now. No, no, no. I'll, <laughs> I'll say I was trying to think of something to jump in with, and the only non-political thing about Jesse Ventura I could think of <laughs> right. was that he, he used to go to go on vacation to the real Hotel California. Right, right, right. Which was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is Bill going to do with that? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I was trying... Well, the problem was I got jammed up because I was trying to remember a, a thing I had said once at work doing... 
Jesse, mm-hmm. which was like that he won, that he won the governorship of Minnesota in a fucking like for wrestling a pig in a small mm-hmm. fucking <laughs> county fair. Like, mm-hmm. It ends on county fair. Ah, okay. Well, that's all I remembered was the last line. Mm-hmm. Cause with Jesse, it's about the last word. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, as it slowly falls apart. Um, yeah, so let's give them something to do. How about that old Disney and Fox? They got together. Yes, they did. Ooh. So I'm thinking, let's let them just smash it up any old way. Disney, like, yeah, that the hashtag for the chat game is uh, Disney plus Fox. Die, uh, examples include Die Hard with a Hunchback mm. and Less Than Nemo. Yeah. I had to look that one up. I was like, okay, these Fox movies are not coming to me. <laughs> I had to go like look up oh. a list of Fox movies. Because I, I was trying mm-hmm. to leave like obvious stuff for the people in the room. Oh, yeah. Because like Predator, yeah. Aliens, mm-hmm. like these are kind of like the ones you kind of go to. Yeah. But like you kind of you run out of them mm-hmm. a little quick. Yeah. Because like, you consider like Disney's got a million fucking big franchises. Mm-hmm. And then the ones that you start plucking out of Fox, it's like, okay, all of a sudden like you're like, okay, Simpsons? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you start kind of running out. No. Well, I mean, they have some great sci-fi stuff, Planet of the Apes, all that, yeah. all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, there was a couple there that I was like, you know what? Let me just try and like mm-hmm. use something that's a little more obscure for uh, the example. Yeah. yeah. So you found, you found John Hughes movies? <laughs> I found. Well, I it took me. I had. I went from like you know, in the list, it's like 1939 to present day. Mm. So I scrolled all the way down to like yeah. 1970s. I started recognizing stuff, and then like, like a couple didn't really work. And then uh, eventually I saw less than zero, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that's a good one." Oh, are you looking in the chat room? In the, in Return the, uh, to the. Planet. What's going on? Are we uh, in off the, air? In the doc chat? No, what's going on? Um, okay, so Uncle Jay had that thing tonight. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Which evidently oh. Palmer knew, and we didn't. No, 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 no. no. Well, you know what it is? I did. We did I write it down on the calendar? We're in the wrong month on that calendar anyway. I bet you if <laughs> so, you scroll, so I guess that's a no if, you lift, uh, if you lift that up, <laughs> we have it marked off. Did Palmer, I bet you, Palmer, how did you find that out? What did you do? Reach out it's to It's on him? there. Yeah. J out. 16th. J out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so he's not fired. And he did, and you know what, and that, that's true. That does hold up because he told me during the week, he was like, you know, f- I'm not going to be probably, a r- I might be able to be there so Friday because the thing I got to do is Thursday and Saturday, I'm off on the Friday for oh the project. Oh, my God. Right? How did I overlook that completely? Right? All right. Can, can, I, can I get something off my chest right now? Is it Star Wars related? Yeah. Like, how heavy? Because, like... You, you forgot to let the dog inside before you left? Well, okay. Fine. We'll, we'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it in the, the meanwhile. The dog's in Hawaii, by the way. Yeah. I'll do it in the meanwhile. Uh, Okay, fine, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, I sent what? you a doc. Did you get the doc that yeah, I sent you? Yeah, no, I got the doc. Actually, you know what? No, no, I'm just going to say this now because because I don't want I don't anticipate people. Okay, okay, a little a false okay, build up. I'll I just, gotcha. Just yeah, uh, just I I've been nervous, <laughs> really, really scared for the last 48 hours because um, coming Boy. clean here, okay, I I did not like the Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Um, That's a wrong answer. It was. Uh, Something about it felt off to me. I will get more into the review. This special, <laughs> but yeah. um, uh, well, it was funny that the way when yeah, it f- was an, oh, it's actually an interesting uh, dynamic then because of yeah. the way, and we'll get into this later. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way things are rolling, critics are loving the movie, and not so much among uh, people about uh, yeah. among the, the uh, regular viewers. viewers. Regular viewers, yeah, are, and are mixed. Yeah, it just ba- basically it just didn't jive for me, and I'm I'm gonna have to trash it. It's All right, well, wow. don't tell us that yet. Don't, gonna, don't um, give that away yet. Wow. Yeah. That well, well, that's a tease. Well, yeah, that's a, well, that's t- a, that's a, a tease, tease. But let's just, let's just say... That's giving away that's a spoilerish well, tease on, yeah. your, on your spoiler well, all, 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 all I will <laughs> yeah. say is I've been dreading having to walk in here and look Uncle Jay in the eyes and say that. I, I will, I will and, admit that... And now uh, you got another week to, to have those butterflies yeah. in your stomach. And now uh, <laughs> I will be looking <laughs> over, going to work, and, and I will be looking over my shoulder expecting him to be in the parking lot Waiting for me. What the fuck you say about my fucking Jedi? <laughs> the fuck you say about my fucking Jedi? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. It's a stash, motherfucker. Yeah, there's that. Fucking Kylo's confused. He's young. <laughs> <laughs> he's emotional. He's trying to get laid too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's just not sure if he's related well, to her. Man. He's just not sure if he's related to her or not. <laughs> just like everybody else. Yeah. No, but um, yeah. So well, there you go. I Ed did kind of get a hold of me the other night, and he was like, yeah. So I got some things, some issues. So, I'm, but but besides that, besides that I have issues with Star Wars. I just want to, like, I'm gonna come in like last minute, 
So that the whole 20 minutes or like an hour bit, like thing we all do, like I was going to dodge it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't blame you in a way. It's like, you know, because I was ready today to be like, all right, just in general, save mm -hmm. all the Star Wars talk until the mics went yeah. on during the Star Wars episode. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be a thing where it's like, I want it to all just be very yeah. fresh. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. sometimes with the big movies, we sit here for an hour before we go live in a regular show, yeah. bullshitting about it. Mm -hmm. And then I get on mic, and it's like, I feel like my steam is already gone once the show episode yeah. starts. And then like 45 minutes in, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like tapped out. Like, you know, and that's just a thing for me. It's my, my attention deficit, like, you know what I mean? But uh, that's why I want to stay kind of like out of that this week okay which would have been good for you yeah because i would have been trying to keep jay under wraps he would have been like well, what? Oh. i don't understand why can't we talk about it if everybody liked it <laughs> mm. so yeah yeah i feel but, uh, i feel like listeners got cheated out of some great well, i know talk. jay's listening right now oh wow. on, the, on, okay. on the playback not live but like yeah. i mean in the at the very least on the on the playback on monday mm -hmm. yeah. on, the, on the podcast because jay, jay always checks the episodes so. out so jay hey how you doing I'm sorry. Uh, missing you, actually. I tried. I really right, tried. Right. Save it. Save and, it. And, uh, right. Missing save Dom, too, because I know Dom was pretty psyched to come, mm -hmm. but he really, mm -hmm. he wasn't feeling good. He actually had some illness, like, during the week, mm -hmm. from what I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, spy report said that he was doing some, some hurls. He had some stomach virus. Mm -hmm. eh, Mike told me. Mm -hmm. so, um, so he's out for the count. Mm -hmm. But um, with, with that all now kind of, are we kind of... Back to zero point. We're back to like, are we all yeah. caught up? Now we can do an episode. Yeah. Um, all yeah. right. So let's uh, let's uh, let's start for some news. Let's get some newsy kind of a newsification. So uh, I want to get newsified. So, uh, yeah. I, I like that new version. <laughs> <laughs> so, Disney bought Fox this week. Hey, I don't know if you heard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they bought th the 20th Century Fox. Right. And, and there's a lot of hubbub, and we covered yeah. a lot of ground on it. Yeah. And it's still a ton of stuff up in the air. But I felt like the one thing that shook out of it was mm -hmm. this nugget. Yeah. So, uh, Birth Movies Death is reporting that uh, Bob Iger, Disney CEO, mm -hmm. um, has stated that uh, Deadpool will remain R-rated. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The quote, the quote right here is, um, "Deadpool clearly has been and will be Marvel branded, but we think there might be an opportunity for a Marvel R brand for something like Deadpool. As long as we let the audience know what's coming, we think we can manage that fine." Right. Yeah. Which is a smart way sure. to kind of look at it. And that's also a way of, uh, their way of saying we looked at how much <laughs> money it was, mm -hmm. and how much money it made. And yeah. we said we'd be idiots not to let them continue to do this. And <laughs> how like easily it, it, how easily you can piss off a fan base these days. Yeah. So, yeah. so and that's the that's a huge aspect that would just kind of mm -hmm. like, oh my god, the people would fucking yeah. they would they would yeah. they would booze up and riot. Yeah, and this is what Disney does well, mm -hmm. especially with their acquisitions, is mm -hmm. they let them breathe, and then yeah. Disney finds the audience for that product right. rather than the other way around. Yeah. Rather yeah. than trying to fix the product to the audience, because because they got it like that, and they can they can do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have yeah. all these outlets that they basically run mm -hmm. on top of yeah, yeah. All, uh, everything else. Yeah. And it's why I mean? they've and, and it's the secret to their success. To be honest with you, like that's the thing that Warner Brothers can't kind of get around. That Fox kind of struggles with. It's like kind of knowing that you have to get out of your own way in a, in a certain way, and that mm -hmm. means. Not being in the creative's way, mm -hmm. you know, and just trying to like nurture things instead of just trying to cold straight up squeeze the cash out of it, mm -hmm. like, aka you know, not the Warner way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now not I the not not the old school studio mm -hmm. way. Yeah. It's about staying, you know. Yeah. Even though Walt wasn't like you know the world's nicest <laughs> guy, he was like you know <laughs> let's make good creative stuff. Yeah. yeah. It does. I mean, it does come down to one simple thing: is like if you give a creative person a license to do their creative idea right, yeah. then you're going to get the best possible version of that, and it's probably going to be good. Yeah. If you tell them, okay, I I'm going to let you do that, but here's some notes, here's, here's, some, notes, here's some ideas of my non-creative <laughs> mind that <laughs> right. I want you to do too right. because right. I'm giving you my... Then that's like, okay, now it's in the toilet. Right. Can we put a dog in this? Can we put a dog in this yeah. podcast? I yeah. think that's what this podcast is. A little is. chihuahua. It needs a yeah. chihuahua. I'm going to start bringing notes <laughs> to this podcast. Yeah. A rabid chihuahua. <laughs> exactly. Now you're talking. 
Not the <laughs> a shaved rabbit chihuahua. There and that's you know. what you're supposed to do as a rider. You're supposed to go, okay, I'll find a way to put a dog in. And yeah. then, like, you put that and dog we'll, in. Yeah, and then, then you we'll, put that dog right, in. Right, yeah. Because it's his wife's dog. <laughs> right, 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 right. Look at all the small little cute dog. My wife likes cute dogs, you know? Right. So why don't you put one in there? Because yeah. uh, she skimmed, uh, she saw the title of this script right. and she was intrigued. Yeah, I always prefer Shih Tzus to Chihuahuas. Yeah, because Shih Tzus, it's, it's a funny name. Yeah. That's why people like Shih Tzus. Yeah. So they can yeah. say Shih Tzu. Well, a Chihuahua's yeah, yeah. not funny? It is, but that's racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Mm -hmm. And I bet I, Shih Tzus look more appetizing. Uh, speaking of racist, this is uh, obviously uh, but, but, Harry Mermelstein. But Mermelstein's they don't theme. sound appetizing. <laughs> 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 they sound like what's left <laughs> after something's been appetizing. <laughs> 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 All right, then, on to story number two. <laughs> so um, I'll kind of take this one because I dropped this in here. This is a comic I'm reading right now, Kill or Be Killed. Mm -hmm. This is an Ed Brubaker. <gasps> and uh, yeah, yeah, you like Ed Brubaker, right? Yeah, I do. I yeah. do. I really do. Ed Brubaker is fucking... Mm -hmm. There's a reason people should be liking Ed yeah. Brubaker. Ed Brubaker is like the guy who brought us fucking... Uh, um, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. You mm -hmm. know, for people on a on a on a big oh. level. Yeah. And um, but if you if you look at his crime stuff from mm. criminal to fatal to um, uh, the big no the big the fade out the fade out yes yeah those three like they're they're there's I think Incognito is his too. Yes. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's a, like mm -hmm. a shorter run thing, which is, mm -hmm. I think, getting developed too. But anyway, it's all very crime noir, either in a modern mm -hmm. setting or like a retro setting. That's his cl claim to fame in a way. But this is his only real ongoing book. Mm -hmm. um, and with this one, um, the setup on it is that um, there's this young guy who's kind of like, <coughs> you know, uh, uh, goes to kill himself, gets saved by a demon. Ends up making a deal with the demon to stay alive. That he's got to kill somebody. Like, he's got to hunt down. He's got to kill bad people, basically. Mm -hmm. And so, but he lives in New York City. And he gets all tied up with, like, the mob stuff. And, like, you know, kind of, um, they tell the story. And it's very kind of, stre it's a little stretched out. Mm. So I think in trade paperback, it's probably a better read. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. right now, I feel like we're on issue 12. And because we keep stepping back. Mm -hmm. Like in the story context kind of thing, um, it's like we kind of had we just finally got back to the night that starts the whole story. Like in a way, yeah. Mm. It's like one of these things where like, wow, this is a crazy situation. Let me tell you how I got here. It's <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, I've met everybody now. When are we getting back to, you yeah. know? But right. But it's still compelling along the way, and it probably shouldn't be, but it, it did hit its. Mm -hmm. But anyway. It's getting adapted. Um, I'm very excited for mm -hmm. it. It's in trade paperbacks. It's, I, I recommend people mm -hmm. checking it out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's Sean it's Phillips' cool. artwork, too. Yeah, Sean, uh, yeah. Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the team up on that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got on that. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So that's right. my uh, comic book. That recipe. sounds good. Kill or be killed. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, some more Disney Fox news, mm -hmm. uh, which is that... Um, Reportedly, um, yeah, it's a quickie. Yeah, Hugh Jackman basically said that he he's not coming back to play Logan. Yeah, he's like, you know, there okay. was a he squashed that. Yeah, he was like, you know, there was a time when I would watch those movies and I'd be like, wow, wouldn't that be cool to be up there? And it's just like now, yeah, like literally, literally right now, hearing that news from them mm -hmm. and like thinking about it, I think that's for somebody else to do, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think I think Logan was the perfect way for him to go out, and I that's think why, also, mm -hmm. um. I think those X Men are going to need a huge overhaul, and the only character I think mm. can survive just because of the way, he, just if genetically the way he's made <laughs> up, is Deadpool. <laughs> yes, uh, because that c that that character is self aware and mm. breaks the fourth wall. So yeah. like he's the only person who should notice anything wrong. Yeah, or anything and different. And he's the only person coming out of this. I would expect to stay mm -hmm. as is. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, I think I don't think Marvel is going to mess around with mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. No, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been pushing so hard for this and yeah. made such a, uh, such a success of it, they would be foolish to mess around with that. Because the greatest thing is going to be finally see Deadpool yeah. say something on screen mm -hmm. about this whole thing. Yes. Like, eventually yeah. Deadpool's <laughs> going to be commenting mm -hmm. metatextually to yeah. us. Yeah, like, I almost... Straight, <laughs> deadpan, Ferris Bueller style, like, guys... <laughs> Like, isn't it great when it all right. comes together? You know, well, he you know does own I mean? his own costume, yeah. so I'm sure he's planning it out right now. Hey, man, we still got another six Probably months. Probably could get it tomorrow on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got something coming out. We still got another six months before Deadpool 2, two premieres, and Christopher Plummer <laughs> shot for eight days and got a Golden Globe nomination a week <laughs> right. later. Yes, you're so, right. You're right. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, crazier <laughs> things have happened, and, you, and you're both right, and because of just the way that they've been running that whole thing with him, you know, it, it's definitely you're going to get some kind of extra add-on. Yeah. The Promotional blitz mm -hmm. now, 
for this, mm-hmm. like oh, the yeah. ad campaign, because remember how much he was himself involved in the whole ad campaign stuff, mm-hmm. especially the viral type stuff, the, yeah. w- the web stuff. So uh, I'm sure this opens up. I didn't even think of that. Like, oh, he's gonna have a field day. Oh, it's big gonna be time! Great. He's gonna, gonna be, be all over this. It's gonna be great. <laughs> so, um, just remember the last one he did with the uh, Bob Ross. How yeah, good that one know, was. Forget it. I'll forget it. Now. You know. And, uh, and he's got the thing in his closet, so I'm sure he just, oh, I got an idea. Let's go do this. He's probably got a room you know, in his house yeah, where he just it. does it. Just sets up his laptop and just records himself sitting there. Uh, um, so also, um, Ed might want to jump to that list real quick that's uh, embedded into this next article. It's just a thing. I thought we'd kind of skim it real quick yeah. for some gems. But so, so the Library of Congress has a national film registry. Mm-hmm. And it's a big library, yes. by the way. Yeah, so yeah, it was founded uh, in the late 80s. Um, and every year they select a handful of films to be added to the registry of films that will be preserved for all time as, right. as a symbol of American culture. Right. Yeah. So um, it, it runs the game. It's a little bit big. It's, it's a little. It's a, it's a little big. It's yeah. a, it's a good size. Yeah. yeah. It's a little big. Yeah. And this, uh, you know, and and uh, but today um, or this this week they announced mm-hmm. this year's editions. Right. And I'm just gonna go through. Um, really quickly, uh, the, the the ones p- worth noting. Yeah, the ones Toxic worth Avenger, noting. Toxic Avenger, so Toxic Avenger. Die Hard. Die Hard. Uh, uh, okay. I've D- seen it. Dumbo. Seen it. Mm-hmm. Field of Dreams. Seen it. Uh-huh. Four Little Girls. I think I've seen that one. Yeah, it's a Spike uh-huh. Lee documentary. Right, yes. Yeah. Uh, the Goonies. Okay, sure. Uh-huh. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Ooh, classic. Mm-hmm. La Bamba. <sighs> okay. Memento. Why couldn't it be you, Bob? <laughs> Only Angels Have Wings. Oh, it's good. Spartacus. Spartacus. Eh. Superman the movie. Yeah, I like that okay. one. <laughs> Thelonious Monk, Straight No Chaser. Never saw it. Uh, that 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 should go in. Thelonious Monk was an awesome. Yeah, movie. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's so that doc. that goes in as a just art just, is just is yeah just for that. Yeah, it, that should be automatic. They should be like, oh oh uh, yeah, just that that <laughs> put that in the box now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and Titanic. <laughs> um, mm. all right. To sleep with anger. I feel like. Sound, maybe that just sounds like another movie then. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, yeah, but that, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, everyone's really excited that Goonies mm-hmm. is getting some big recognition because no one ever talks about Goonies. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, you would almost forget that Goonies was even a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Yeah, how is Superman not already in there? And some, some of these, you know. Well, would, so I'm really happy. Well, Memento's a personal kinda, favorite, so I'm really happy that's in there. Yeah, you got to figure that they got to go through uh, a monstrous list yeah. of yeah. qualifying movies every year mm-hmm. and this is a thing and where like these the years on these yeah r- they've run it's 1947 yeah. they, gotta, yeah, they, they can't just take from one uh, one yeah. era they gotta they gotta go from mix it up you know yeah yeah i mean so. th- this goes as far back as 1918 with the sinking of the lusitania okay which i think is actual yeah uh, that may actually that's be actual footage. that's actual footage of the sinking of the lusitania well they've got yeah. the, this other one mm-hmm. here interior new york city subway 14th street to 42nd street 1905 oh yeah that must just mm-hmm. be some black and white short like mm. let's just put the camera down in the tunnel and record <laughs> well that was that was right. what and we have five minutes we'll show it to people in california they've never seen new york yeah. city that's what here's those tunnels you've heard so much about I'll go film school on you. That's what film started as. Tom Absolutely. Thomas Edison, it was 52 seconds. Yeah. That was how long a reel of film could, could take. Sure. So okay. it was just one film. And, and you see so, some of those, it's just, you know, it's, it's, literally it's two people kissing. It's a guy yeah. with a hat. <laughs> so, you know, like they had like circus strong men, these like exotic dancers. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, this is, how, this is how you learn to shoot video, though, you know? Let me yeah. tell you something, friend. You ain't seen a movie till you've mm-hmm. seen... A guy with a hat. Yeah. Now that's a classic. <laughs> all right. They don't make movies like that anymore. One man, one position, <laughs> with one piece of something interesting going on. Sure, it's just a hat, but he puts it onto his head. For, yeah. for 52 seconds, he commands the screen. <laughs> now, put a coin in the Nickelodeon and let's go. Yeah. No, but <laughs> if, if you want a trip, there's one of them electrifying an elephant, uh, which is literally what it's what I just described. Um, <laughs> well, it, it's documentary. It yes. It's the original documentaries. Yes, you know, yes, it's like yeah, it is, that was a good time. Yeah, it was. Then. It is very interesting and scary, and it is the reason PETA exists. Well, um, <laughs> well, that's no, that came later. But it is the era that, like, yeah. you know, we put kids in factories because their hands were small. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and they could just kind of like do crazier <laughs> shit than adults could. So it's like that was the era. You know, we electrocute yeah. elephants for. Entertainment. The and three E's. Besides, I thought Peter existed for so exhibitionist bimbos could have a reason to get away with being naked in public. <laughs> I don't think they really needed an excuse. They would have found something else. But yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, anyway, 
So yeah. with that, uh, that's nice. Those are those are some interesting uh, entries, um, and c a couple of entries into the uh, nerd world. There. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's nice. That's nice of them. Yeah. Uh, so. Mm. Uh, the, so the what? <laughs> so what? So next speak, on. Speaking next of nerds, why wasn't Revenge of the Nerds in that list? You know yeah. what I mean? Next year, Bob. Next year. Yeah. Next year. So the last bastion of mm -hmm. uh, non-Disney owned Marvel movies. Well, there are some of those. Uh, Venom. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Sony stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. That's, I remember but that's, that's the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for you too, Sony. Yep. Just give it time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, new casting in Venom. Mm. Uh, Woody Harrelson might be in the movie. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, here comes a weird thing. I saw something about that. So, uh, yeah, that's a rumor milling kind of a thing, but it's mm -hmm. like they're shooting for the stars, I yeah. guess. I mean, they yeah. got Tom yeah. uh, Tom Hardy. Tom in Hardy. Yeah. We got Riz Ahmed, Michelle Williams, and Jenny Slate, and now maybe Woody Harrelson. He hasn't signed on officially. Right. So, but it's either going to be good or it's going to be Catwoman. Yeah. You know, yeah. like <laughs> I, I got a feeling like I think this is going to Tom Hardy is overdue for like a hard flop. Yeah. This could uh, be yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I've seen some pictures of uh, of him of, getting, of him getting mm -hmm. uh, working out, right? Well, on the motorcycle, he was like oh, okay. seen. It was a couple of like stills from them shooting in Toronto. Okay, he's got this wireframe and a head on, and he's riding a motorcycle. Mm. Okay, okay. Because well, I know he was putting up some social media stuff. I think of him at the gym and shit, and he was looking pretty buff. Mm -hmm. He was definitely ripping up. But I'm wondering if they got they pulling in Woody, because this storyline is actually definitely going to pull in. Um, well, it's it's directed by Ruben Fleischer. Think, he's, think he's Carnage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's doing, he's, he's, he's doing it to us. He keeps doing it to it's us. I'm just trying to be involved in the conversation. No, 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 no. You no, jump, no. But you're jumping to what we're trying to, like, He's that's where he was going. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. It's directed by Ruben Fleischer, who also directed Zombieland. Fair enough. So he's worked yeah. with Woody before. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since they know each other. Mm -hmm. But this has definitely got Cletus Cassidy in it, who is Carnage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taken these two different uh, storylines. And uh, like the two like kind of like big um, mm -hmm. Venom uh, miniseries that ran back in the day. Yeah, yeah I remember. The, I remember reading that one. Uh, mm -hmm. There's like his first one, and then like there's a one that kind of goes back and revisits that stuff because it's about other symbionts, like mm -hmm. him finding the other kind of like species that is the living suit, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, kids. Right. So, um, but yeah, isn't I'm sorry, isn't Carnage found um, on the moon? On the other it, side well, of the, the moon. In the comics, I think how it originally was, they might have retrofit it, but um, I believe that Eddie was in prison. Yeah. Venom, the suit itself, breaks him out. And in some aspect, Cletus Cassidy is in a cell next to him and gets right. some spooge, some space spooge on him that, like, you know multiplies and takes over his whole body kind of thing and because he's like mm. a serial killer and Eddie's just a bad guy like you know mm. big bad guy jerk off right. mm -hmm. he's not you know that level bad <laughs> like you know so so this guy gets to be the real right he's the psycho baby cuz if Marvel realized in the story probably room they were like okay everybody likes venom and we want to kind of put venom into this Wolverine kind of space of uh anti-hero so we had to make a bad Venom now, yeah. <laughs> like that's really bad. So mm -hmm. serial killer, yeah. yeah, there you go. I mean, his name's Cletus. Yeah, and he's country bar, so you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be interesting. And you got Woody. And if it's Woody, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, sometimes a flat circle well, shit. Well, actually, uh, but Birth Movies Death is thinking that Riz Ahmed is. Uh, yeah, is, I, that's is coming Cletus. from the beginning, from yeah. the from the start of the project. Mm -hmm. But I think Riz Ahmed might be like some other villain, maybe. I don't know who, but. Um, yeah. You think we're gonna get multiple villains here? I we we kind we kind of have to, I think, yeah. because you gotta have a reason to like have action until you can introduce uh, 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 someone like Carnage. Yeah, yeah, like I feel like Carnage might be like he might be the big end villain. Right. Maybe mm -hmm. they need to. I think they're gonna need to, as far as the way the stories goes, they need to introduce Venom as an anti-hero and not a straight up bad guy. Right. So they need to show him fighting <laughs> a, a bad guys, mm -hmm. uh, a handful of bad guys Some or something. second tier. Right. And, then yeah. and then... The big showdown is going to be a, you fight a guy who's just like you. Right. Which we know from right. every superhero kind we'll of see, thing And ever. we'll see Carnage's, Carnage develop over, um, like, you know, the last two-thirds of the movie. Right. Which, by the way, is, like, the only thing I don't like about the Black Panther trailer is that, like... The other guy's like a leopard. <laughs> like he's like always like got some gold. He's got a very similar kind of Black Panther thing going on when they're fighting yeah. in the waterfall, and it's I like, that, uh, yeah. is that what this is? Like he's gonna have a very similar ability and stuff. Yeah. And 
It's all right, whatever. But I, mean, um, I was thinking Chitara. <laughs> Chitara with a penis. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of like where we're at with that. Maybe we get some Woody in that. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Um, so I thought Jay would be here, and he would kind of. I know he would particularly dig on this one. Um, so Max Landis, um, son of John Landis. Um, yeah, right. He's working hard these days, right? He's constantly working. Yes. Yeah, accomplished screenwriter in his own right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Check out American Ultra. It's underrated. Underseen. Yes. Uh, and I'll agree to both of those because I still haven't seen it, mm -hmm. and I want to. Mm -hmm. But um, so he's working on a remake of An American Werewolf in London. So um, one of the things that kind of came out from his Twitter account, because he's kind of just talking about he's finally mm -hmm. wrapping up uh, his little work on it, is that uh, he kind of just points out this one story point that it's kind of like a thing he builds on that was kind of like you see it in the first in the original movie, and it's like, um, you know, because he always wondered about that pentagram that shows up on his hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I don't know if it was on his hand, because that was that other TV show. So, But there's uh, this pentagram stuff. Um, and all this kind of like, like a little bit of that other like kind of like there's there's a cult or there's something else kind of there going on, but the movie really doesn't do it. Like it kind of puts it there for a second, but never comes back to yeah. it. Um, so it's just uh, if you're a big fan of American Werewolf in London, I thought maybe and uh, I kind of really kind of put that in there for Jay, but Jay's not mm -hmm. here to kind of like riff well, on it. My my favorite is the initial tweet that he puts out, which is finishing my first draft of an American Werewolf in London today took me way longer than usual because every time I opened the final draft file on my laptop, my laptop would slam closed under the weight of my father's <laughs> expectations. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is funny, which is, which is a great way to kind of like just be honest about it, you know? Yeah. No pressure. But he's like, you know, he just, just describes, you know, he says, uh, I watched American Werewolf for like a dozen times in the last two months and it's crazy how little happens in the movie. It's entirely, entirely linear. It's like, Pub, attack, dreams, hospital, then like ghost, sex, ghost, werewolf, freak out, ghost, werewolf, the end. Like, it's just kind of like, you know, it's that old school kind of way of just being very straight through. Mm -hmm. No kind of jumping back and forth or anything or side right. stuff. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes that's all you need. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's actually, it's a rarer thing nowadays sometimes mm -hmm. when you get a movie that doesn't do any of that fancy, look at how, how we present the story to you mm -hmm. like, out of sequence and everything. Right. Um, so, yeah. So there's that. There's that. There's that. Mm. Now, does that fucking wrap up the news? Yes, it does. Gosh, golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, that was quick. Um, no, no, not doing that. All right, so, uh, so uh, yeah, how about... Uh, meanwhile? A little bit of the meanwhile. I should probably play this uh, sound effect. Meanwhile. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I saw some uh, talk once in a while uh, in the last couple months, or whenever it came out, um, about this podcast called Homecoming. <coughs> and it's from Gimlet Media. <coughs> it's a fiction piece. Um, they're like 20 minute episodes, and it's got like Oscar Isaac. And um, I forget the name of the actress. But as soon as I heard, she's from f the Forty-Year-Old Virgin. She plays the, the 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 woman that starts to fall for uh, for for Steve. Catherine Keener. Yeah, Catherine Keener. She plays like the therapist. So he's like a um, he's a uh, soldier who's coming back, and he's going through like a little bit of a uh, um, process, kind of like coming home, kind of like mm. a psych kind of thing. But as you listen, uh, there's more going on. It's not really just a regular kind of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, mental decompression kind of coming home, talk about your PTSD kind of thing. Right. As the story kind of like rolls, it's like, oh, okay, there is some kind of project thing going on here. Mm -hmm. So I'm into like episode four or five. Mm -hmm. No, four. It says uh, David Schwimmer's in this too. So David Schwimmer's in this and you start recognizing some other voices in it too. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like really well done. And one of the cool things they're able to do is actually without heavy-handedly doing it like they jump you back and forth in time. Like you get the flashbacks, like you start to kind mm -hmm. of, you recognize the pattern that they set up for you in the first episode. Right. And like, you know, you kind of follow like um, stuff that's like kind of like, it's not always linear kind of a thing. And it's really cool. And, and I, I really felt like what's really cool too, Oscar Rides is really good and it, it sounds very natural and stuff like that. It's mm. obviously because it's from Gimlet Media and it's got some real talent behind it. It's one of the better put together type of projects like these. But I recommend it. I recommend it if anybody's looking for something. It's uh, 
in short doses, easy to, to digest. And it's getting adapted. You know, there's a project underway for okay. it already to get me into a movie. I think uh, uh, Julia Julia uh, Roberts might be playing the uh, the uh, therapist role. Oh, okay. I really don't see why you couldn't have the other the, the, the true actress in it because yeah. she's sorry. Julia Roberts is a fading light these days. The other ones are more of a rise up. I'd rather see the other one. You know, Julia Roberts doesn't act to me anymore. They're about so the s- they're about the same age. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're about the same age. They're in that wheelhouse, and mm-hmm. Julia Roberts doesn't amaze anybody anymore, really. To be honest, with you. no, know. she hasn't in a while. You know, but is she still a name? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She still yeah. has a name, and she stepped mm-hmm. away from the limelight. It seems like she probably yeah. stopped taking less projects. Catherine Keener is a solid actress, but you don't hire a movie doesn't get made because she's in it. No, no, no. a yeah, movie can get a movie could still get made because Julia Roberts is in it. No, fair enough. Mm-hmm. And you know, mm-hmm. her c- probably biggest recognizable s- slot was 40 year old virgin. I will say mm-hmm. that, you know, but, uh, um, it seems like a great, it seems like a great thing. I really kind of, uh, yeah. I want to get through it. Yeah. I want to get back to well, it. Well, you know, Laura Dern is available. We know she's not going to be doing a certain role anymore. I guess not. I guess a spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that, well, what kind of spoiler? Not, I'm, I didn't say nothing. It's a total spoiler. Uh, <laughs> it's a total no, spoiler. no one knows what I'm talking about. No, no, yeah, but necessarily. Like, I didn't say anything specific. The more we talk about it, the, m- the more we give them chance it to figure it out. It doesn't matter now because um, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that hard to figure out. So, uh, yeah, uh, I got I got three things I'll talk about. Um, All right, this is gonna get weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first up is, is not in the dock, but okay. I, I figured since since Jay we got some time. since Jane Dobbs not here, I'll throw it. yeah, soak it I up, yeah, Ed. Yeah, what I, do you sta- got? I started watching the Deuce. The Deuce that's on um, HBO with James Franco and Maggie Gyllenhaal, and that's a sta- no, that's porn. Yes, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's about Forty uh, Second Street in in the early 1970s. Oh, okay. That, um, that's what. And the the rise of <laughs> well, not the rise, but the height mm. of um, uh, prostitutes and and gambling and porn. And right, right, yeah. right. The the heyday. Yes. The halcyon days. Yes. Of Forty Second Street. Yeah. And uh, James Franco is doing the Zach Galifianakis thing and playing playing his own twin brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, does it work? Yes. I'm here. I, uh, oh, I'm surprised to hear that. Yeah. Because what I had already heard was that yeah, it was good. And now that you told me that, I was like, mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, one one character is clearly the star. It, it's it's very it's very similar to Baskets, mm. where like the the one James Franco guy who's who's a bartender is clearly like the star of the show. Right. And then he has his brother, who's this you know loose canning you know degenerate gambler who nice. like pops in and out over the okay. course of the series. Um, and Maggie Gyllenhaal plays this prostitute who's who everyone is afraid of because she does she she's the only. She's the only whore on on the deuce without a pimp, right? Um, and um, she starts, <laughs> right? Uh, she start she learns about the porn industry okay. uh, and starts making her way into it. I'm about four episodes in. Right, right. Uh, really fun character work. Um, mm. uh, in- interesting stuff. Uh, it's not for kids, right? Um, but you know, I, th- I think it's it's wor- it's worth a li- uh, it's worth a watch. You can unplug that from your laptop. Okay. All right. Um, I just realized I didn't have to have this microphone on at all because yeah. Jay wasn't coming. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, that feels a lot better, too, I feel. Yeah. I feel, I feel unencumbered now. All right. All right. Um, the word of the day is n- an unencumbered. Unencumbered. Next up is a movie that's not really in our wheelhouse, but it, it is definitely going to be part of my Oscar challenge this mm-hmm. year. Uh, is a movie uh, that's in limited release right now called Darkest Hour. Okay. Uh, which stars Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill, right as he takes office. And this line is from it. Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? <laughs> You've got to see the movie we've been playing for Would months. You stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I went to Montclair, New Jersey, and uh, at, the, at the Clarish Theater, which is this real fun hole in the wall that actually has great seating. Like the one of the few art house theaters I found that's not a complete shithole. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, the question <laughs> we have, Ed, as a show, yes. is: Is this line? Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? Still in the movie. Yes, it is. Okay. Phew. Yes, it is. Continue. And yeah, yeah. And that is said to a huge prick. Um, <laughs> it's deserved. <laughs> yes, it is deserved. <laughs> and you realize just how much. Like we we acclaim him. You know, people think of Churchill as this one guy who just walked in and and just everything. Put it all together. Yeah, and you didn't realize how much opposition he had. Mm. And oh yeah, he was. 
I know, yeah. I know, I know some of the the history involved. Yeah, and and how much you know? Really, the whole government thought right. that this was this was a hail mary, and that he he lost his mind, and there was there was no way. And then the way he turns it around, just with sheer faith and belief in the British people, um, is is inspiring. Um, does it go into how he wasn't actually prime minister when the whole affair started? Yeah, yeah. And how the prime minister the, before him just sat there and yeah. watched it, Germany basically walk all over Europe. No, no it starts with uh, Never Neville Chamberlain um, uh, getting the vote of no confidence and being thrown out of being prime minister. No confidence. Yeah, and it, it takes place over the course of the month after 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 Chil Churchill takes office. It's a oh, very okay. very specific amount of time. Mm. Uh, but the real thing here is yes. is the cinematography. Oh, um, cinematography. There are moments. I love good yeah. cinematography. Yeah. <laughs> Just talk right over me, man. <laughs> concur, but concur. There are moments, uh, yes. and you, you, no, you yes. notice them right away. There's about three or four moments where you will see Churchill walk into a room, right. um, and it'll be boxed off on the screen. Okay. Where it'll just be this bright light of him in some kind of cage, whether it's bars, um, uh, or or just a grated door or something like mm. that, and the whole rest. Is of he dressed like Patton? No, he's just like Churchill. <laughs> um, <laughs> because he's Churchill. <laughs> uh, a halo <laughs> over his head. <laughs> no, no. The whole thing is that he's he feels trapped, and right. the, and it'll be this rectangle of the screen mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's illuminated. He's and always whole, framed in a way. Yeah, you know? the whole rest of the screen right. is completely black, oh. and it's this incredible effect where you oh. just feel. How enclosed okay. he he is mm. in that moment, mm. both both you know physically and emotionally, right, right, and right, and right. how much he's backed into a corner, and it's just great great visual storytelling. Okay, okay. Um, and you know I know it's it's not like ger geeky nerdy stuff. No, no, no. no but but, um, but like a, if you are a fan of filmmaking, right? Go go check out Darkest Hour. Well, I think if you're a fan of this show, yeah, you would owe it to yourself to go check it out because you've heard us play that clip. Yeah. <laughs> well, as someone who knows a little bit about the story behind, you know, Winston, mm -hmm. Winston Churchill, um, I'm sure this is going to be a, a really good story. Yeah. Because there's already been one really bad Winston Churchill movie, right. and I've seen that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you talking about the one with Brian Cox? Yeah, yeah. it was very boring. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he show up in, like, uh, Bill and Ted's? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, he didn't. <laughs> Um, I think he's in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in yeah. there. Alex Winter's well, giving him work. I'm sure he's <laughs> yeah. been in a draft of one of those scripts yeah. that have been kicking around. And uh, and this this last one I'm going to talk about is yeah. something that I got turned on to last week after we stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might have put this in there as a joke. Ed. No, no. What's funny is like it started as a joke, and so the Deadpool teaser that came out a couple of weeks ago with him doing the painting thing, the Bob we, Ross yeah, thing. Yeah, I think we mentioned mm -hmm. it a little. And while then ago. I'm just like sitting here on my laptop, and I watched that trailer, and then there's a link in the corner for an actual episode of The Joy of Painting with Bob right. Ross, and <laughs> Bill and I yeah. sat there and watched it. I remember. And you know what? I, I talked him through it a little bit. I, I haven't seen that show since I was probably about five or six years old. Right, right, right. Couldn't, didn't have, you know, it was just, well, painting. And well, I remember being impressed with it then. Yeah, yeah, but, but like watching it, it now as an adult and seeing it just unfurl. Oh, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> right, and like, right. I've, I've watched another four or five episodes this nice, past week. Nice, nice. Did you just get to like, see some mountains? Yeah. You were binging, oh you, you were binging the joys of painting. <laughs> and he didn't get to see any mountains. Like, he didn't get to see him do the mountains with the palette yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro, let me tell you, like, that's the... Mountains in a cabin are the only things you're the missing. The cabins, the cabins, the man. The cabins, the cabins. You know what we need here? I think we. I think we, I think I know what lives out no, here. No, it's a cabin. Yeah. A little cabin, a little place. You know, maybe it's not. It's not that good of shape anymore. It's run down. It's a little worn down. No. Best though, Ed, it's got to be. I mean, I mean, you got one of these. Did you get one of these? And you, you know what I think this tree needs? This tree needs. It's a friend. This yeah. tree needs, and it's oh, a big. Oh, it's a big. It needs a happy it's friend. A, it's a big. It's a big old friend. Yeah. Puts a big, thick black line down the middle of the fucking canvas, yeah. and you're like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> you just ruined that!" And then, like, he'll stay. You know, you, you get the. Uh, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get darker, 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 mm -hmm. and then you just, you beat the devil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he fucking rattles out the brush. You know. Just very lightly pressed. Lightly. Lightly pressed. Lightly, 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 lightly. Yeah, yeah. But my favorite is is it's it's all calm and and yeah. like oh this is a nice scenery mm -hmm. and then he'll clean the knife and go, let's get brave. <laughs> You're like oh, he stops shit. and looks at you. He stops and he's like all right, 
You ready to do something brave? You want to go crazy? Let's yeah. go crazy. Let's get brave. Meanwhile, well, this is going <laughs> on. Let's do anything too crazy. Like, you know what I mean? As kids, as kids you don't know. Yeah, now, yeah. We, as adults, we know that the, while he's doing that, that whole mellow bit, yeah. he's wired out of his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> he's, oh, he was. He took too much acid. Oh, really? I, well, there's a rumor, too, that like he was like in Vietnam and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much of that's true because well, he, of the internet these days. He, he did serve in the military. He did serve in the military. Mm-hmm. But I think there's like some kind of like uh, common rumor mm-hmm. thing that goes around about like mm-hmm. you know uh his experience there and specifics yeah. and I, I don't know if i ever bought into it i don't know if i ever looked up snopes on it but mm-hmm. um did you get to see any squirrels did you show any pictures of squirrels no no animals yet oh. no animals yet he doesn't paint them but mm-hmm. like he's got pet squirrels so every and oh, in a bunch of different okay. episodes he's got time showing photos of his squirrels because mm. he's like and i know sometimes i'll get letters from folks and they like to want to know how my squirrels are doing mm-hmm. and their names are mopsy and bopsy or whatever the fuck stupid ultra cute yeah. name they fucking have you know and so as i go through the, as i'm uh, working here we're gonna mm-hmm. run up a couple of pictures of them and yeah. uh you can take a look at them and oh boy we just have so much fun yeah. and uh and then it signs off every one of them thank you for watching god bless yeah Little open palm wave, <laughs> like a five-year-old. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, no, but my uh, the one I watched today mm-hmm. um, was uh, was there because he, he always he always has the white canvas mm-hmm. that he paints himself. You see the very first episode, right? Right. You right. actually see him painting that canvas before mm-hmm. he starts. Right. Put some uh, liquid uh, liquid gesso on there. Yeah. Some primer. You know, because <laughs> we work wet on wet. Yes. But the, the the last one I did, it was not. <laughs> I'm too excited right now about this. It's so stupid. <laughs> you are, it's I'm like giddy right now. He, he had a black canvas, right? And he oh. painted it with the phthalo blue and the alizarin crimson together. Yes, and yes. And it created this like purple effect. Sure, at nighttime. Yeah. Was, was, like a, was it a tidal wave? Was it, it a wave? No, no. It was, on the beach? It, it was it was the Arctic. Ooh. You you had a, you had a mountain with a bunch of trees, and then like a s- waterfall and a stone. Oh my God! It was it was breathtaking. <laughs> But it's just ama- the palette knife stuff, though. Yeah, is the crazy shit. Yeah, because he'll take a couple of colors, mix them loose on the on the on the thing, mm-hmm. cut across, and then he's got that roll of paint. And when he lightly drags it across, yeah. those two colors kind of break apart in this way that gives you like the side of a mountain. Yeah, that's white, but it's got the blue kind of shadows peeking mm-hmm. through, or it's a, a rock, or he'll do like the white birch trees. Yeah, like uh, just like you know. Go straight yeah. down. Just create little sticks here and there. Oh, take the edge of the palette knife. Yeah. Just make little kinds of little little things peeking out here and there. And, yeah. You know. No, but when he should paint, w- paint look more professional. When he does the mountain and he puts the snow on one end and then he'll just mix it with the phthalo blue and then make shadows on the other side. Yes. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> and then blend it out. Yeah. <laughs> blend out the edges and there you go. It's like, you know, and I'm like, shit, that's like fucking we could drive there. Yeah. But it's also it's also it does put you in a, in a certain mindset. He does calm you down. You know, you want to relax, get in a mood. Like, this is how we should be treating terrorists in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> like, this, get them nice, wa- let them watch a Bob Ross, and I bet they'll be so <laughs> relaxed and calm, they'll just give up everything. No, you know what you do? You play that theme song. <laughs> just those two bars. Yeah. On a loop, <laughs> basically. It's basically the bottom. But just play that on a loop, that's how you torture somebody. Mm. Just that little, like, that shit that they did on Walking Dead where they played that super upbeat song. <laughs> that's got too much change. You need a short, repetitious thing. Mm-hmm. But um, I will say that, uh, yeah, fucking uh, Bob Ross, the one thing I wanted to do, and now I realize I can do it as a kid, like, I never did it. I always meant to tape one and, like, watch it on fast forward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just watch him just, like, zing! Like make it like you know, <laughs> and like now on YouTube you can adjust the speed, like you know the playback speed. Oh, so okay. I, I, th- I want to, at some point I know I'm gonna do it now. It's like yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> put it up to double speed and just watch it fucking unfurl. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> where did that come from? And I'm gonna have to stop it, put it mm. to regular speed, watch it, you know. But anyway, uh, so cool, man, cool. That was nice of you to. Uh, I, was, I was very surprised to see that in the doc that you actually watched another episode, <laughs> with the fact that he let you watch like four or five more. That's uh, that's. So this cool. is the guy that as soon as you showed him a Richard Cheese video, went out and like became addicted to Richard. I Cheese. I never know what's gonna land with this guy. Well, I, I never I, know what's I, gonna I, land with this guy. I, Turns I, out you're about 55, 60, I think. Is oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, because that would put you about Bob's age, and that's not right. You're like oh, seventy. Thanks, I'm sixty. No, 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 no. I mean like you. Oh uh, well, you're fifty. Yeah. 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 So, but I'm just saying he's. He's older than that, mm-hmm. like you know. Yeah, he's an older like, soul. He's even older than dad. I'm, like I'm, you're like 112. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a serial obsessive. What can I say? Well, there you go. Yeah, um, I think your soul originally voted for Lincoln. 
I think you know what the Bob Ross thing might have been where like I first got like became a like a sucker for process. Mm-hmm. Like I'll get stuck on some things. It's like I have I'm never gonna do that. But you, I found a video of somebody doing something. Yeah. It's like I guess maybe it's a little bit of a natural thing too because that's like how it's made. Like that's what those yeah, are about. Well, it, and, but like to watch somebody actually like doing something at a fairly decent clip. Like, yeah. I watched an hour and a half of fucking people doing a glass blowing demonstration that really like. Mm-hmm. Oof, guys, like, you got to move it along. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, with those rambling things? Yeah, kind of, well, like, a little bit too it, rambling. It, it's mm. also that kind of thing, like, once you realize the tricks, like, mm. just, you know, like like you're talking about with process, just those simple things like, oh, oh. That's all you do. He makes a mountain the same way every he makes time. Up, he yeah. does trees the same way every time, mm-hmm. but it's the combinations of them right. that's where the real artistry is right you know just or just kind of like getting used to it mm-hmm. and then kind of just be able to see like oh okay this random way i put this thing in mm-hmm. kind of has a natural line that goes here yeah. i can see how now yeah. it's 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 the it's the repetition of of knowing the steps and then applying them later yeah. on it's and like it's in the like beginning it's like you know everything mm-hmm. okay I, I get how yeah. baseball works you're teaching me coach <laughs> and then it's like a you know like a year later or mm-hmm. like somewhere down the line it just kind of all starts to really click yeah you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah, but even like, like you start to foresee yeah. the next step like you know? he always starts with that sky with that like just oh make yeah. little little x's little x's <laughs> and like he'll do that and he'll do the water and he'll do the water <laughs> and yeah. like literally in in Two and a half minutes, just like spooling around, you already see the framing of the painting. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, the scenes you know already coming together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you like his happy little seagulls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the beaches. You know, he, yeah, he doesn't really do any animals, but he gets to you know, like M birds basically. He does yeah, like birds, M like birds. <laughs> like yeah. Or the bees. <laughs> yeah, he does, the bees with the with the little tips yeah, on well, the side. Yeah, there. right, because <laughs> they're going up. So, uh, but yeah, that those are good too to get uh, a, a nice. Uh, Beach one mm-hmm. because you always do the, the, the water yeah. cresting up over, mm-hmm. and that's a crazy one to see come together because, yeah. like, it's just the way that he puts the light as if it's coming through the back side of the wave, mm-hmm. and everything down as it's curling up is dark uh, down low, oh, wow. it gets brighter, and as it's coming over, it's dark again. And to watch him, the steps of that, but that's what I was gonna say about process like, most process, like, like learning anything is like, you know, it's all these tricks, it's all these small tricks. Like, that's mm-hmm. what I told people a couple times about drawing. It's like, and Bob Ross is a great example. It's like, you know, I did eventually go out and buy some oil paints just to fucking try it out. And, like, it was almost so easy where it's like, well, okay. <laughs> like, like, obviously I could, you know, it's like anybody could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's also, too, it's like one of those things. Like, you ever see the street art guys in Manhattan? Yeah. Who all you they, they just make the planets and all the mm-hmm. and all the buildings. They the use all the, yeah. They they have the the the, um, uh, the pot lids and they use all mm. these other things just to kind of really quick spray paint all these shapes and all of a sudden right. it's like you know four planets and some crazy starscape and it's some city thing in the in the foreground and it's like oh those are just a million different shortcuts. So it's not like you do that mm. freehand freehand. Like you know what I mean? It's a process. It's a shortcut thing. Mm-hmm. But um, so some people like real artisans, like that's what they'll say about like a guy like Bob Ross is that because it's like so much of it is just like shortcutty. Right. But that's how yeah, you learn right. to mm-hmm. do it. Yeah. And then you uh, you you learn you unlearn the deeper understanding as you're doing that. Right. It comes to you over time. Right. 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 It's like um, for me when I learned how to drive an eighteen wheeler. Okay. Right. They basically they told us. A very mechanical way of being able to do it right away smoothly mm-hmm. right and that had to do with certain speeds knowing certain speeds shift you okay. know what I mean but right. but it was just about doing the mechanical process of it and getting that right, right yeah and then getting you good enough at that so that you can get a job and then over the course of a couple of years of driving you learn that wait all these little things they, they tell you that about but don't worry about you'll learn that later yeah, all, all yeah, things, yeah. these are the little details that come from understanding right right like right. learning <laughs> like understanding how okay wow well, well the, the, the transmission kind of slows you down it's it's part of your braking system that mm-hmm. you actually have to use stuff like that right you know they don't tell you that you figure it out yeah it's a little mm-hmm. bit of that what's that saying uh um you learn you do it the hard way so you can appreciate the easy way like yeah. you know like when we right. train you we're going to show you how the p's and q's and You'll mm-hmm. find the shortcuts, you know what I mean? They'll yeah. come to you. It's it's the right. nature of repetition is innovation mm-hmm. and, right. and, and but all you, that. Yeah, but you can't t- teach somebody how to paint the hard way and have them learn the easy way. You have to yeah. do it the easy way. Like Some people get it right away. Right. 
You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You can show them the hard, the hard way of doing something, and they're yeah. going to get it. But, but for most of us, yeah. you, have to, you have to apply a simplified version of getting from A to B w in the process. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then the understanding comes from the... The, um, the results. The from results, seeing, the, from seeing, seeing the, results. the results and doing the artistry or the detail mm. of, right. of within the activity, whatever it is. Right, right. When you fine-tune it over time right. as you get better. Right, you s you learn. Oh, okay. Then this ha this works when I do this. Right, you right, know, right. This works better when I do it like this. Right, you know what I mean. So, and it's which is how everybody found those tricks and shortcuts in the first place. Right, mm. right. <coughs> All right. So uh, that was the that was uh, the joy of talking about the joy of painting. Um, there we go. Salute. All right. Let's get into the chat game. Yeah, we got a chat game to review. Ooh. Yes, and the uh, the hashtag was Disney plus Fox equals... All right. I didn't even look, right, so why don't you hit me with them? All right, here we go. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Lady and the Ferdinand. <laughs> okay. Mm. The Incredibles A-Team. Mm. Frozen Predators. Okay. Up, Love and Other Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, Star Wars, The Last Stand. Mm. The Shield of Music. <laughs> Big Mama and Moana. Oh, smash up. Rise of the Planet of the Ewoks. There you go. There you go. Alvin and the Porgs. <laughs> Too cute. Dude, where's my Nemo? Well, okay, I like that one. Wally, cool. the Darkest Hour. Mm. Frozen Ice Age. Alice got fingered. Oh. 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 You get a thunk. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound. <coughs> Buffy, the Inhuman Slayer. Okay. Uh, Star Wars, The Deadpool Awakens. Hmm. Han and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That that's that is the Han Solo movie. That should be the name of it because that's what he would call it. <laughs> it was a no good. <laughs> Just picture him saying it. Cars two, the wrong. Uh, Cars two, wrong turn. Oh, okay. I like okay. it. I like it. Uh, the droid and I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the BFG next door. <laughs> the day <laughs> after Tomorrowland. All right, all right. Love and other porks. Mm. Um, live free or Deadpool. Frozen the meltdown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bugs life must die. Um, <laughs> okay. That's good. Fantastic. Uh, that was true. Yeah, it's true. Fantastic Thor, rise of the strongest Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fury must die. Yeah. Uh, Electra, you actually like this. You'll actually like this one. Uh, <laughs> you get two bells for that. <laughs> Night at the ship battle of the dead man's chest. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Okay, go on. N Night at the ship ma battle of the dead man's chest. <laughs> okay, we're, th we're throwing some stuff together there. Okay. Uh, how Spidey got his groove back. Oh, all right. I like it. Rapunzel taken. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that last Spidey one like the subtitle for the last movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of. Yeah, that, kind that's of a, yeah, I, yeah. that would be the name of the article you could write for yeah. the review. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I bet you somebody did it out there somewhere. Oh, this is this is my favorite from Dom Tori. Avatar two. It's the same as the first. We just threw in some Disney characters, <laughs> <laughs> which made it better. <laughs> and Tarzan the internship. <laughs> the internship. <laughs> <laughs> Me no make copies. Yeah, I came you make I, copies. I came up with uh, Return of the Planet of the Land be before Land Before Time. There you go. <laughs> land Before the Lost Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little. Just fucking fuck it. Put everything in it. All right. Groovy. Dom Tory in the chat room? Yep. Oh. Thanks, bud. Thanks, buddy. Where are you? How you how you feeling? <laughs> How's your tummy? <laughs> How's your tummy there, little fella? Mm. A little, little joker? Yeah. A little scamp? Mm. Mm. Ed, what'd you have for breakfast? Uh, eggs. Eggs? How'd you have them? Over easy? Yeah. Or or aren't they difficult? No, I usually have them over easy with a couple slices of bacon. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mmm, that's good stuff. Yeah, I had coffee and a cigarette. Um, yeah, it's a stall. That's just a stall. Oh, email time, huh? Emails. Mm, mm. What do we got? What Shit, we got? we got some emails. What? This, what we got? You sure it's not spam? Well, yeah, yeah, there's some of those, too. <laughs> we always got that. Uh, wait, hold on. This is, like, official? What uh, are you talking about? No, no, no. Oh, I'll come back to that. No, that's like someone actually trying to contact, like, mm -hmm. hey, trying to find a podcaster. I don't know, but then it's like, go to this link. It's, I don't know. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Oh, 
was that Nigerian prince again? No, nah, no, some kind of job thing. We'll see. I'll take a look at it off mic. All right. So uh, anyway, 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 uh, we got some emails. We got. Uh, we'll start with the earliest one here from Chad Rose. Chad. Chad Rose. Hey, Chad. From Canada. You remember him, right? Yeah. All right, I do too. Um, he says, uh, "Merry Christmas to all the gang." Hey, Merry Christmas! It's a little hey. early. It's a little early. Happy all Boxing right. Day! All right, oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, uh, they that's that's got a face like mm, Boxing Day. So um, oh ever since uh, um, Smoking Joe Frazier, I think was the, was it Smoking Joe Frazier? Yeah. Or maybe maybe it goes all the way back to Jack Dempsey. I don't know. Mm. But Canada just loves boxing. Mm. So they have a Boxing sure. Day. It happens right after. It uh, it's, a, it's December 26th. They all take to the streets to boxing gloves yeah, and beat the of each other. Right. So that's, that's <laughs> it's like as soon as we get the Jesus stuff out of the way, whew, okay, praise to our Lord, happy birthday. All right. Is he drunk? He's not looking. Mm-hmm. Quick, everybody fight. And, you know. Yeah. See, it changed things. Because originally Boxing Day was the day you just put shit in boxes. Yeah. See, which is, but then like hard like times. like cleaning day, you know. But quickly, everybody ran out of boxes. Damn Canadians. Yeah. They were like, oh, no, someone has to make the boxes. I can't do French Canadian. That's as close as I got. Um, so <laughs> he goes, what's in your wish list for Christmas? Uh, thanks, Chad. Chad would came in with one simple question. What's in your wish box for Christmas? Money. <sighs> Lots of it. Yeah, money be good. Mm. Money's always good. I need, you know, 50, 60 grand. You know, I'll take whatever you're going to give, like small donations, l- mm-hmm. large denominations. <laughs> if you want to get rid of, like, one of those cool $1,000 bills you got, Ooh. you know? Ooh. You know? They made those for a while, you know? Yeah. They were a good investment, I hear. You buy them for 1000 and they end up being worth more than that. It's, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> they're worth about ten in the At the very shape. least, it's still worth 1000 Um... But uh, I don't know. For my wish list, I don't know. That's a question I like. Well, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I couldn't think of a thing really. Um, you know, what are you looking for? Some soda? Yeah, because I got the, everything in my lap. It's just no. Yeah, yeah, you're all loaded up. You got gear on. Yeah. You're strapped in. Uh, Ed was stretching his legs, so I figured I'd yeah. ask him. Just, no, just no. the open bottle's fine, Ed. That's good for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Thank you. I don't know. There's more in I'm there if you want this. it. I'm stuck on this, Ed. I'm stuck on this. You stuck on this? I'm stuck on this. Oh, a wish list. I gotta be wishing for something. Stuck on you. I played the lotto this week. I haven't yeah. done that in a while. <laughs> I must be well, looking for money. I, I may <laughs> get what are we stuck on? What are we stuck on? A wish list. What's your wish list uh, for this, yeah, for yeah. this I, Christmas? I may get CBS All Access. I don't know. Mm. I still I still haven't checked it out, mm. which is really uh. weird. Yeah, well, it's funny because it's actually turned into something that people want to get simply for uh, Discovery. Yeah, yeah. Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. Well, Orville's Orville's uh, season finished. Um, so yeah. now I'm like looking for a sci-fi show. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Well, that's that's turning out to be a really good one. They're going to be coming back after the holidays for part two of the mm-hmm. season too. So yeah. it's a good time to jump on. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, I might check that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any good? Any good box? You know, you remember like you used to, you used to look <sighs> for that B- DVD box set. You it's know, it's like who does that anymore? Though? I know. I, I know. know. I felt bad in my last relationship. I was getting them on. I w- she was defaulting to that for holiday stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of starting to feel bad, like, internally. Cause just like, oh, like, that's cool. Because it's a cool fucking box set. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, the presentation of it and all. But in- internally, I was just like, oh, that stuff's just like, I know I'm never going to, like, you know. Maybe I'll take a look at the, f- I'll, I'll watch the ex- mm-hmm. some of the extras, like, yeah. initially when I get it. which right, is But like you're not going to dive into it and spend all day watching it. You know it what I mean? I realized that with Lost. Like, Lost was, like, the last show that I felt like I needed to watch it all. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, yeah, I got to watch you multiple. Over, you went overboard on that. Yeah, like, you know, I was obsessed with, like, you know. You were on the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I miss that. I miss, you know, now with, with binging and there's just so much out there. Like, I miss, like, taking, the, I miss DVD comics. And she got me tracks. Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. and that was good. A lot yeah. of the extras on that were good because I was riding high on that for a while. Mm-hmm. I guess it, it kind of depends on how much you're into the show at the time, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, or how much you feel like you can get out of those extras. Yeah. Like Westworld probably would have been the show at the time because mm-hmm. it was like mm-hmm. a mysterious kind of show that like yeah. I'm, I'm very intrigued by. It. Like I want to know how the fuck they put that storyline together even. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I want to know about the process. But like, I don't know how much you're going to get. Sometimes I feel like that's the thing. Like, I want to know all about the fucking process. And instead you give me like eight three minute videos that are like you know when we sat down to do this we were like okay we're gonna do it and then like we did it which was cool and then in the end it looks really good and we're pretty proud of it do, 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 copyright no, HBO, I, <laughs> and it's over you know what like, i miss you know? i miss commentary tracks um 
on movies from filmmakers about 10 years after they made the movie. Little, little looking back kind yeah. of filter, which is interesting. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, like, That's true. like Usual Suspects has a great one with Brian Singer and Christopher McQuarrie. Right. Um, super where they talk shit about fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's the only. That's one of the ones I've yeah. heard, which is actually really good because yeah. you do get some insight. Yeah, yeah. You get some. You get some fun stories uh, mm -hmm. about them busting Chaz Pullman theory's balls. Yeah. Um, we do. And, it's, you know. a, it's a lot of about how much ball busting they did on the set yeah. and how it led to half the fucking shit that's on the movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, Superman the movie has a great one with uh, Richard Donner and Tom Mankiewicz. Right, you mentioned um, that. Yeah, and it's. Uh, you know, it's just just those interesting insights, and like that was to me like the first version of podcasting I mm. remember. Um, mm. You know, it's just just that conversation. It just it's it feels point. like yeah. you know, it feels like them sitting on a couch watching the movie with you. Which um, is basically you know what's yeah. happening. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times you even hear in the beginning, it's like, oh okay, oh you got it. it's playing yeah. already. Oh okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> some <laughs> jackass actor who's like doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He's just walking in the room late. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh we're doing it now. Okay, yeah, let's go. Walking <laughs> <laughs> leaning into the microphone and shit. <laughs> Um, I think the only thing really on my wish list might be the camera, like a good, like a good, nice high end, mm. like one of those fucking cameras you see, like Wait, still camera or video camera. Ah, fucking give me. Why well, have one? We can have one that does both. Yeah, you know what I mean. But mm -hmm. you know, either or. But then once we get a camera, it's like oh, video. Okay, Ooh, <laughs> file size, mm. Mm. editing. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, mm. well, in that case, you need hard drives. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should put a wish list together. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah, I don't know, off the top of my head. I was just going to wish that uh, next year, each year is better than the year before it. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, yep. I love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. Mm. That too. Okay, so uh, thanks to Chad Rose for the email. Let's go on to the next one here from Steph Muniz. Next victim. Oh, Muniz. Is it Muniz? Sammy. I always say it wrong. Mm -hmm. It's Muniz, right? I, I always thought it was Muniz. Yeah, it's Muniz. Yeah, because I've heard us say it. I can't or at the very the least, my default is Muniz as well, and I know that that's wrong. So I'll just stick with that. I can't hear the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're pulling in Les Nessman when we say that? You fucking racist, Ed. <laughs> All right, so... um. Or is that just you trying to play like, I don't even hear color? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, seri seriously, as kidding, you were saying, I didn't hear the difference. You're going to flip out of that. I referenced eating canines earlier, and you're going to flip out of that. <laughs> I guess I slipped that in there. No one saw. Nah, well, I won't tomorrow um, eating canines. But, but, but yeah, <laughs> those are delicious. I mean, it's a delicacy in some places. Yeah. <laughs> no one gets bent out about that. No, they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, right now? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, cool. She says, uh, hey, you guys. Hey. She likes to make us feel at home. Hey. She speaks to us like she's us. Thank but, you. But we are home. You know? Uh, I let my mom talk me into going to the mall today mm. so she could get more Christmas, uh, get some Christmas presents for my sister and my niece. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think it helps that Christmas falls on a Monday this year, so there is still one more weekend after this for last-minute shoppers. So my question is... Are you guys last-minute shoppers? If so, how last-minute have you actually shopped? Um, like the weekend before, Christmas Eve. Uh, well, that'll do for my email and my mm. Christmas shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, take care, fellas. Your pal, Steph. I'm not doing Christmas mm -hmm. this year. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing Festivus. I'm boycotting. And since I'm the only one doing Festivus, I ain't got to buy nothing. There you go. Uh, well, I think I'm last-minute shopping this year. Usually, I figure out the, the stuff for my parents mm. pretty easily. Mm. Um, you know, and, uh, n uh, my siblings are both out of town this year, although my, my sister's coming back. Yeah, we're pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty bad, I should say. I shouldn't speak for anybody yeah, else. Yeah, I've, I have bought, I'm I have, bad. I have bought gifts on Christmas Eve, but I'm usually, I'm usually okay with it. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a real bad last minute Larry on a lot of things. Mm hmm Uh, if that hasn't become apparent. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and this is sadly, mm -hmm. gifting. Yeah. Is a thing that, uh. I hate that I'm bad at, like in a way, mm. like you know, because of that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I, and I have done a Christmas Eve, you know, historically I have done Christmas Eve last minute mm -hmm. shopping, but I think that's a little bit more predominant than than like people might tend to think, like because I think I've done it quite a bit of it with other people because other people were doing it, where mm. it was like, hey, like I gotta go do last, especially when I was younger, and like, you know, it was like, yo, I gotta go do last minute Christmas shopping, blah, 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 what are you doing, are you hanging out, like, mm -hmm. you know, I gotta go f check, get shit for my girl, I gotta run to the mall, what are you doing, like, you know, you're hanging out, yeah. like, you know, what's going on, kind of a thing, like, mm -hmm. you know, me and my boys or whatever, or like, that kind of thing, or I do kind of remember doing, I think some, with a couple people from the family, maybe a brother or two, mm -hmm. or, uh, 
I think like one year, me and Lisa, M- Dave's Dave's yeah, uh, Dave's ex. ex. We might have ran to the mall together on Christmas Eve. Like we both needed something. And it was like, <laughs> I'm yeah, like, oh yeah. shit, you're going? And she's like, yeah, I'm going now. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let me get my jacket. It was like, oh shit. <coughs> but um, yeah, I have uh, done that. I've done that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I think that's a bigger thing, you know, than mm. uh, socially is <laughs> probably acceptable. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, that's a no-go. That's a, that's mm. a, that's a not-so-nice. Um, all right. So next one here is from a little friend. That, uh, he's got his own music. Uh, Jimmy, right? Yeah, Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Yeah, little Jimmy. He's got a... It says, hey, you gentlemen. It's Wesley Gaskins, if you didn't know. Hey. Um, how hey, use Wesley. How long can a knife be until it becomes a sword? <laughs> well, I think it goes through phases. I think it's about a question maybe how long is it a knife a knife until it becomes a dagger? Mm-hmm. What'd you ask your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> or a short sword, Yeah. you know, or a scabbard. Well, that's the thing you put it in, right? Scabbard is like a sheath? Yeah. I think so, right? Yes. Yeah, I think a short sword would be something like a machete. Yeah, exactly. You know, it depends so on where you're from, right? So I think it's right? just, if it's so smaller than machete, yeah, yeah. I it's think probably da- still considered a knife. A dagger is probably about like ten inches a foot. See, I think a dagger now, is considered now, a type we, of knife. Are we going? Are, are that might be a thing too. Are we going just the blade or like blade to hilt? Like yeah. See, that was all the signs. No, I, I think I think you got to talk just blade length because mm-hmm. after a while, hilt basically becomes the same length. Yeah. Because it serves one purpose, that's for yeah. your hand. So I'm mm. thinking like like two feet is probably a sword. That's a small sword. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I think like, I'm thinking like a machete would be considered a small sword, and a machete is about 15 to 16 inches long. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking something like that might mm-hmm. be a small sword. So I'm thinking maybe something 14 inches or, small or less, bla- all blade. And it probably depends on where you're at, too. <laughs> like, yeah. like legally, in your state, I don't know. Well, I know it was in New York. It right. was like in if New it York. was if it was wider than the cop's hand, mm-hmm. then you, you would probably get a ticket or arrested for it. Like yeah. you know what I mean? At the very least. At the very least, he's keeping it. And looking at yeah, at yeah. the very least, he's keeping it. Yeah. You know, depending mm-hmm. on how you look in his eyes, right. like you know, because if you're like a kid or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like he's not even bothering. He's just like yeah, going right in his pocket. He's like mm-hmm. yeah, thanks, thanks for my tip. Yeah. Basically. And so yeah, they usually ha- would hang out outside the flea markets where the kids would go <laughs> to buy the knives. <laughs> right. As soon as they came mm-hmm. out. Come over here. I mean, all these come over here. We'd, well, we'd all go there to buy the 007 knives and mm-hmm. the uh, the stars. The Chinese stars. The, the chi- Shadouken. Yeah, and we'd lose them in the woods in about five fucking minutes. <laughs> Whether yeah. the cop took it, <laughs> or we just lost it in the woods because we were throwing it at trees and shit. You guys are crazy. <laughs> oh, man. You kidding me? In the 80s, man. Dude, you don't know crazy, okay? Oh. Fucking Jesus Christ. You, you want to talk about Christmas stories? Uh, we have woods by our house, mm-hmm. okay? There's a creek going through these woods. All right. So every year after Christmas, everybody's throwing out the trees. So we used to take the trees and bring them to the woods. Mm. And we'd put them in the creek. And what's the one thing that you know about pine? Mm. As green as it is, it burns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'd stand them up in the ice in the creek and we line them up. And they'd go and up and they probably really wouldn't get too close to anything most of the time mm-hmm. so yeah, no it, there was there was in the creek there was no trees or anything you and the fire department would actually come and after the first couple of years of doing this because we did this more than once um we stopped running away because we realized that they don't give a shit they're just they're just hanging out there and uh and, and watching it and making sure it doesn't yeah so by the time we would we stopped doing that and we were old enough that it got boring uh, the cops would just be like, the fire, well, the fire department would just come up and they'd be like, oh, you, did it again. you guys did it again this year. <laughs> 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 you know? And the last year we did it, we had like 25 trees in the creek. Wow. This, that woods near our house mm. has a lot of crazy stories that happened in there because, oh, like, who do you, like, near Manor Road? Um, um, off, off of Watch Oak Road. Off of Watch Oak oh, okay. Road, kind of where, how Watch Oak splits into, off of Victory, kind of in a way. Yeah. At the top. Yeah, way down. Okay. Kind of well, a few, blo- a few blocks down. down. By, down by the yeah, so down. so you're not even near the green belt. No, 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 no. no, no. no. This is just a small pocket mm-hmm. of, woods of woods that existed in the, yeah. in, in, in the middle mm-hmm. of this n- suburban neighborhood. Yeah, it's like a two block thing of woods within surrounded by houses, but it, it's the, everything was so safe, and the creek was like right in the middle. So but so like there was a good bike trail, a little bit of a bike yeah. trail in there, some jumps and stuff like that. Yeah. But like. 
all these different kids from the neighborhood, different pockets and groups of kids throughout the mm -hmm. years and years and years, you know, had, had all of their own different clusters of adventures in there. Oh, I only yeah. know the ones that the Sweeney <laughs> yeah. boys are involved in. I can only imagine. And with the four of wow. us, there was a lot because yeah. there's, uh, mm -hmm. there's over almost a 10 year span of us yeah. being born. And each one of us has our own <laughs> different collection of friends. So there's like yeah. four gaggles of. Wow, you know, but um, welcome to the after show, everybody. Yeah, but it's and like by the end, we were teenagers. We were doing this, and uh, we'd be sitting there with beers, watching it roast at night. So you'd go from being like little kids lighting fires to bigger kids smoking joints, but and drinking like beer, but finding porno mags in there, fucking mm -hmm. lighting shit on fire. Yeah, because there would be pe different people there in different areas of the woods at different days, different times of day, doing different things. You could speak to this better than I could, but brother Dave, I think, and his buddies like Anthony and them, mm -hmm. they had built a. They all got. The, the mice, the white feeder mice. Yeah. And they had built like a maze. They were trying to keep mice down there. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like a thing they did. Crazy kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but this is what happens when there's that kind of a thing yeah, tucked you away. You get the feeder mice for like 50 cents back then. Yeah. You know, and you just buy a few of them and, white you, mice, and, yeah. and a bunch of crap to feed them. You mm -hmm. know, they'll eat anything. Yeah. So they would kind of, they would mark them with food dye and then like have races through mm -hmm. this maze or whatever. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, a lot of. Uh, kooky stuff in that fucking area which was oh, a great yeah, which yeah. was a bad thing because it was like it was within like just a neighborhood of kids where mm -hmm. it was like okay if you were allowed to kind of like drift from your house at a certain age at some point you found this fucking pocket of woods and there was always <laughs> other kids like running around and they're doing shit and it was like oh my god this is like fucking like you know that's cool like a crazy little pocket mm -hmm. Like it was like oh shit like I never knew this was over here this way like I right. never I never made the left <laughs> like or something like I never went because the access mm -hmm. to it yeah. was kind of like in between a couple of people's houses on one side yeah and then it's like the dead end on this other street so unless right. you wandered into it or someone brought you you never would have really noticed mm -hmm. it or thought about it or like I had heard my brothers mention it for a long time before like I was with uh, kids where are you going you're going to the woods going yeah, to the woods yeah. going to the woods okay. I, mean, I remember coming home like smelling like smoke <laughs> and then like not not smelling it on me because I had been around it for fucking two and a half hours. And then my mother would be like, you were in the woods? And I'm like, no, I wasn't. Like, I could smell a fire on you. Would you go camping? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on. Like, like I could smell. <laughs> that yeah. or you burned a house down. Like, what were you doing, you know? Yeah. Me it's meanwhile, it's mom didn't want you in the house. And yeah. It was winter and you had mm -hmm. to do something. Yeah. So that's what you did. Yeah. But yeah. she also knew that, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Kids got up to no good down there because she wasn't yeah. stupid. Like you know, I I grew up close to the water. Yeah, and uh, there's just just one you know one stretch of beach, and I remember climbing up the rocks one day and finding this other level mm. before it went up again. Um, okay. to to where the street was, mm -hmm. and there being just this abandoned car from like the '60s, <laughs> sure. just like embedded into the dirt, and it was like this one little alcove where just like, you know. Uh, Ten-year-old kids mm. would would you know like like me would hang around you know being up to no good and then at night probably homeless guys would just like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. like that's get out of yeah. my house, buddy. That's yeah, that's there. that's kind of the yeah. same. Yeah, it's very same much the same thing. thing. Like I'm yeah. sure there was keggers. Like when I got to a certain age, it mm -hmm. wasn't like about like going there and to burn stuff. It was mm -hmm. about like oh shit, it's like 10:30 and we have to move yeah. this keg somewhere. Oh, the Watchog Woods. Oh yeah, yeah let's yeah. go over there. Yeah, like you know. Yeah. And then someone figured out finally how to friggin break that all up and turn it into houses yeah mm -hmm. that's that's the other thing it was like it was like this nexus of dead ends that were kind of all meeting around it like okay yeah. property lines just were cut up weird and eventually yeah, and somebody kind of figured out a way to kind of maneuver all the lines and yeah it was, it, it was the townhouse it was now. the townhouse era so they were like okay we could put one building this way yeah one a little on this angle mm -hmm. and then yeah they can uh, well these people don't need to actually have a parking space for their house right you know we'll give them a driveway and yeah oh my god it's, <laughs> you know, so, it's, it's so awkward and it's so awkward and tight in there it's like i can't even believe like, and then you still have a little bit of woods in the middle because they couldn't do nothing with what was in the middle no matter what and it, they just left it that way it's some of the, like this weirdest congested living <laughs> um anyway <coughs> we were doing email somehow we yeah got, we got sorry way left off it. yeah um, that comes when that's what happens when you ask us uh, about knives cool uh any more emails yeah i'm oh, trying wow. to get through them um i'm not even done with wesley yet so he's got a couple questions mm -hmm. so the second one is uh if you could have an infinite amount of something not money what would you choose um i would choose an unlimited amount of everything i ever need 
Can't beat that. I don't know if I could top that. I was just going to say time, but I think that includes yeah. time. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I think. Uh, just, just but if you had a. Just a blanket. Yeah, that's but that's like, you know, how many <laughs> wishes would you ask for from a genie? Uh, a million wishes? Uh, if the loophole exists. I hear you. If it works. <laughs> I'm going right. to take a swing for that. And Wesley's not here to rebuke it, so. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's in the chat room. He could call a foul. <laughs> Basically, he could he could call a flag on the play. Oh, don't I, don't I, put ideas in his head. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I, it's a sports yeah. analogy. I could be using it. Wesley's a smart guy. He's done a few things for us. You what know. about you, Ed? How would you handle that question? If you can uh, have an infinite amount of something, see, not like money. I, I, see, initially, I was going to say comic books, but I kind of have that already. Yeah, um, and let me tell you something. Uh, you run out of space. you got to live. Yeah. I know one very important thing. Okay. What would you say? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, and by the way, Yezza says, yeah, I don't like the answer. To you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like the Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. I, um, didn't, I didn't see no disclaimers included with that question. All right, so uh, maybe you, maybe I think you might be able to have something for this one, Bob. How about this one then? His next question oh, okay. is What would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd build you a guitar. For a Klondike <laughs> bar? <No. laughs> I was just trying to think of something I could do. I was going to say, I'd, I'd pay for it. <laughs> like yeah. a, a, a dollar fifty, maybe. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, actually, you know, yeah, you're right. I'd walk across the street and go buy a six pack for three bucks. There you go. You know, they're on sale every now and then. You get a good deal on those. Uh, Klondike well, bar, four fifty for a pack usually. I think so. Yeah, it's like yeah. Usually, yeah, and then sometimes you get them at the supermarket for like two fifty. Yeah, they uh, well, they tried they tried one. to get me one time across the street. They were having the Klondike bars on sale. Yeah. Or maybe they sold out of the regular ones, all that were left with the sugar free. Oh yeah. But it was one of those that. packages where like I didn't notice it until like the last second. Oh no. And I was like, I'm not buying a frozen block of sweet and low. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Because that's all it was gonna taste like to me. Yeah. Um but yeah, you know what the problem with Klondike bars? You know the problem with Klondike bars. Tell me what the problem is, Ed, with the Klondike bar. Well, you see, cause it's, yep. the, it's yep. the grip. Yep. It's the grip. I can yeah. see it was a hand motion he was doing. It's the grip. We you all know it. We yeah, all know you, it. You start holding it, and then it starts slipping and sliding and getting, mm -hmm. getting all mm -hmm. over the yep. place. It's like you and have two chocolate plates that are, yeah. that are holding yeah. your melting because your block it, it of ice cream. Because it collapses along the edges. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, like, for some reason, the, the ice cream is melting faster than the chocolate in mm -hmm. your hand, which is, which is probably yeah. good in and general. You, you end up with the side piece. In that one big bite that you end up with, because it all comes off. It's, it's that, blo that vanilla <laughs> that block is floating, like you know <laughs> what I mean. Floating between the two pieces, <laughs> you yeah. can see it getting the skin of your. I have had and, it fall out. Sweatier. I have had it fall out. I have literally had it fall out and be left with the two chocolate shingles, yeah. like mm -hmm. uh, well, like castanets. I'm holding two chocolate castanets. You got to eat it with a, in a bowl. No. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Or, or you got to eat it really friggin' fast and and uh, learn how to uh, how fast you can eat without getting brain freeze. There you go. But um, that's the that's the issue with Klondike bars. There we go. And they know it. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing they can do. The Klondike bar technology really kind of like that's yeah. the limit. Like you know, yeah, it's not put a stick in it. Yeah, well, putting on a stick wouldn't help it because that that chocolate is still too thick. That one bite mm -hmm. and the whole thing would it would just would just come off and the chocolate would just. It's be a delicate thing. With like a dove bar. Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. the, the chocolate bar. keeps its uh, rigidity. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While the ice cream becomes softer and softer yeah, right. and more slippery. Mm -hmm. That's why you notice good humor bars are, it's a thinner type chocolate. Right. And the ice, the ice cream's got mm -hmm. a different kind of thing going on. Yeah. Like a Dove bar, this is a very similar thing, but I think the Dove bar is like a, because the chocolate is thick mm -hmm. and it's evenly distributed. Like yeah. you don't have yeah. the issue as much, but mm -hmm. you do have a lot of like weird breakage where all of a sudden it's like, well, fuck now. <laughs> like, you know, down the left side, like yeah. kind mm -hmm. of all came well, off Well, you think maybe the shape of the Dove bar has something to do with it because it's not completely squared it's right. more of a rounded mm -hmm. thing mm. so it doesn't have all those edges so it's more ergonomic so since it's more ergonomic maybe it doesn't melt as fast he said ergonomic now i just picture yeah. me holding the dove bar like <laughs> just outline <laughs> without the a, stick with my a, hand in a wind tunnel <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 the, how the fuck does this sound <laughs> Three mooks yeah. just breaking down <laughs> the, I, I the physics of a Klondike chocolate ice cream. On, a, on a, what we say is a nerd podcast, uh, <laughs> pop culture kind of show. Let me tell you about Klondike. Maybe bars. we should be doing this with a heavy New York accent. Yeah, maybe we should be leaning into it a little bit. Maybe. Just a little bit. It's too easy, though. It's too easy, though. I, I try so hard to lean out of it. <laughs> and I end up in it anyway. All right. So uh -huh. um, that's Wesley's email. Leave him on a good note there. Uh, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, he says. And to uh, Wesley, we say, uh, yeah. Later, Wesley. Take care, good buddy. I say that, but I know you're still in the chat room. 
Uh, next one comes from Agent Palmer. It's a quick one. Did the show really just take a 10-minute detour through the joy of painting? <laughs> 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 I just want to be sure you, I didn't get sucked into some alternate universe or know, something. Palmer <laughs> out. You yeah. know, you know, uh, the uh, fact I, that he can put I, it can in I, an I, email. All right. Uh, Palmer, what Palmer has to understand about Bill is Bill, at one time in his life, was obsessed wow, with, just art. with art in general mm -hmm. and painting it and, and different things took uh, a precedent you know it would take uh, up most of his time mm -hmm. in different times and painting was one that took up quite a bit of time because yeah. it wasn't just painting it was watercolors it was mm -hmm. oils it was canvas it yeah. was paper I started dabbling <laughs> in it and all of it it was cheap uh, it was <coughs> cheap brushes. It was fifteen dollar brushes. It was yeah. professional tubes, and you know. It, uh, so uh, when I moved all my art, you stuff start talking painting with Bill. Well, when I moved all my art stuff into the attic, so that I had like more room, <laughs> it was <laughs> like, and it wasn't like I was doing big stuff either. It was just like, I was just like one day I was up in the attic hanging out. I was just like, damn, mm -hmm. I should just put my art table up here, and then the winter came. <laughs> and I was yeah. Like, and I was like, oh, I can't have a fire up here to keep warm. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is old, unfinished yeah. attic kind of thing. Is, like, is uh, my paint is frozen in the tube. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, you know what? For for a show that, uh, you know, didn't talk about Star Wars, the the places we went, I think, were very unique. Oh, it was. A yeah, and, and I think that's a, t a testament to not being able to mm -hmm. talk about Star Wars. So we needed some <laughs> other stuff to talk about. <laughs> You know, yeah, I'll take that either way. It goes both ways. Like, you yeah. know, hey, wow, we looked, we, we managed to yeah. go to some interesting places and have fun with it. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. I oh, no, no, no. I think, I think, I think this is great. I think this is great. It's just very unique. Mm. That's all. Well, especially yeah. this week. You know, if you describe, if, you know, when I describe this oh. show to my friends, yeah, none of what we covered tonight comes up, <laughs> <laughs> except maybe the Fox Disney stuff. Right. Well, you know what it's too is like, I forget <laughs> to kind of even like uh, in the descriptions, put the stuff that we somehow in the email is mm -hmm. where we get the most tangential and random for some reason. Yeah. Like we, like the question comes in, mm -hmm. we end up like, just like we did tonight, we end up a hundred miles away mm -hmm. by the end and we're like, oh shit. <laughs> what the f like how did we get here like right. you know what I mean like knives and we ended up talking about the woods for 20 minutes you know you know what we did tonight mm. we got brave we got <laughs> you know what we did we got lost yeah we got lost we got let's lost in the Bob Ross painting let's get brave let's get let's get brave let's uh let's get brave we're gonna make some uh, happy, happy mistakes happy, happy mistakes because uh, we don't have accents yeah you know Get that phthalo blue, uh, happy little Prussian bird. blue. No, no, it's the only mistakes. Brown. You have happy accents. That's it. Happy yeah. accents. Yeah, mm -hmm. lizard, lizard crimson. Oh, uh, Van Dyke brown. Yeah, yeah. Van Dyke just brown. Just mix that all up and then just uh, stretch it with your knife and then cut right over it. Cut right across. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, that's gonna do it, I guess. Uh, I mean, that's how we wrap the show. We uh, we we get to the email portion and then it's like, boom, how you doing? So um, now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> it's uh, to all our company. I don't know how that song goes. I've heard it, but it's like I can't yeah, hear well the melody. I just uh, can't it's, hear it. It's the owned by you know a giant conglomerate. Oh yeah, so let's not hit it too so hard. Yeah. <laughs> let's not hit it too exact. You but know, uh, big yeah. big hats with big round ears, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Mice. Yeah, something mm. like that. So, uh, but uh, we're uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we did that at the beginning. Um, so I was uh, gonna do the whole preamble outro thing like that we do every single time. Let's just drop the Twitter handles. Let's just drop the Twitter handles. If you're listening live, stick around. We're gonna do the after show. We're gonna do a little mm -hmm. bit, and then uh, we'll take it from there. And uh, then uh, what else is there? Yeah, Patreon. If you want to support the show, help out the show, hit us up on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash Wicked Theory. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Uh, um, if, rate, if you're on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, please rate and review us. That would be awesome. Tell all your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Check out DC TV Report and uh, Preacher vs. Preacher, our, our two sister shows. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. That's the promo stuff. Boom. Boom. Go to wickedtheory.com for all that. Yep. Uh, find us on Twitter. Edward, can people find you? At Edward O'Hare TBD. Brother Bob, where can people find you? I'm at Edward, Edward O'Hare. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm at Bob WTPC. There you go. And uh, I am at uh, Wicked Theory. Uh, like I said, the show is at wickedtheory.com. And, uh, you know, we do it every week. So looking for new episodes on Mondays, live on Saturdays. Um, and that's how it's going to be, kids. Bob, take us out of here whenever you're ready. We're not getting any sound out of you? Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. 
Oh, 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 I'm sorry, sir. So uh, let me just uh, pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, hey, brother Bob, take us out of here. <laughs>